Um, Lazarus was a resuscitation. Lazarus died again. Jesus was raised from the dead, never to die again. The resuscitations that Jesus accomplished and that Peter did and, and happened in the Old Testament, resuscitations occurred, yes. But Jesus was the first person in history to come back from the dead, never to die again. And to so say he would reappear in the lifetime of his disciples. No. Yes. No, he said he was going to come back and destroy Jerusalem, which he did in 70 AD, right on the money. <laughs> It was the Roman Empire didn't do this. No, it was the, he said this, gener this generation will not pass away until all these things will, are fulfilled. Uh -oh. The sun, the, the, the moon, hang on a second. <laughs> this is really important, actually. I know it is, yeah. <laughs> yeah. In, when, Jesus, when Jesus says in Matthew 24, the, moon's, the sun's going to go out and the stars fall from the heavens, he's quoting from Isaiah 13 and Isaiah 34. Um, there's decreation language throughout the Old Testament. Every time it occurs in the Old Testament, it always refers to a dis military destruction of a nation or a city-state, always. In Isaiah 13, yes. an oracle against the king of Babylon, and then you have the same decreation language. Then Jesus says in Matthew 24, not one stone's going to be left on another. The disciples say, when is going to happen? Jesus quotes Isaiah. So Jesus is not talking about the end of the space-time universe. He simply isn't. It has nothing whatever to do with that. It has to do with the destruction of Jerusalem, which happened within one generation, just as Jesus said, authenticating have, him as a prophet. Don't you have an abnormally unsuspicious mind? <laughs> if, you, if you see someone saying, if I'm saying this so the prophecies can be fulfilled. He knows what the prophecies are. Mm -hmm. And he says, the prophecies say, if the Redeemer comes to Jerusalem, you will come riding a donkey. Where's my donkey? Let me straddle the donkey and come in, and it's Passover time. Sure, and it says in the books themselves, it says, and this was done so that the prophecies might be fulfilled. So it's a self-conscious engineering I'll give you of, the, the, of what would be laughable to call I'll, predictive. I'll, I'll give you the donkey. The donkey could have been arranged. The, the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> what I was talking about... Donkeys can always be arranged. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was talking about... The Asses can uh, be arranged. I could... I was talking about the destruction of Jerusalem, which was not arranged that way. So when Jesus predicted the destruction of Jerusalem, my central point is you interpreted him as predicting the end of the space-time continuum. He wasn't talking about that at all. He was predicting the end of the Judaic Aeon, the temple sacrifices, and Jerusalem, and he did not arrange for the Romans to come in and do that.